My name is Claire Garnsey. I'm a consultant breast surgeon and my job involves treating people with breast cancer. You have been provided with a link to this video because you've been diagnosed with a breast cancer and are eligible for a genetic test so we can try to understand the cancer further. When someone is diagnosed with cancer, there is a lot of information to process and lots of decisions to be made about your treatment and how that treatment will fit in with your life now and in the future. It may feel difficult to think about genetic testing when you are facing a new diagnosis of cancer, but sometimes genetic testing helps to provide you with more appropriate treatment and it may also help to keep you and your family safe in the future. We hope this short video will explain a bit more about genetic testing and whether it is the right option for you. You are being offered a genetic test to see if your breast cancer has been caused by an error in one of your genes. Genes act as instructions that tell the body to make or do something. We inherit genes from our parents and sometimes they have an error that can be passed to us and increase our risk of diseases such as cancer. The test that you have been offered will look at three genes called BRCA1, BRCA2 and PALB2. These genes help to protect us from developing certain cancers, particularly breast and ovarian cancer. If a person carries an error in one of these three genes, some of that protection is lost and it is more likely that a cancer will develop during that person's lifetime. You have been offered this test because the type of cancer that you or your family members have been diagnosed with means there is an increased chance that you have an error in either the BRCA1, BRCA2 or PALB2 genes. If you decide to have this test, a blood sample will be taken from a vein in your arm. The laboratory will then test for any errors. The results will take up to six weeks and your breast team will inform you once the results are available. If we find an error within one of the three tested genes, it would explain why you developed breast cancer and it may also explain other cancer diagnoses in your family. The error may mean that you or members of your family have a higher chance of developing new breast or ovarian cancer in the future. If a gene error is found, your medical team may recommend different surgery or medication. You and your family would then be referred to the specialist genetic service. This service would support you and your family to make decisions to help protect your future health. They may recommend regular monitoring, medication or surgery to reduce the risk of future cancers. If no errors are found in any of these three high-risk genes, then your cancer is less likely to be due to an inherited cause. This means the risk of you or one of your blood relatives developing a new cancer in the future would not be as high. One in 10 patients who are eligible for the test will be found to have a gene error meaning nine out of 10 patients tested do not. You do not have to have genetic testing and your treatment and care will not be affected by your choice. If you have questions about genetic testing that have not been covered by this video, or if you remain unsure about whether you wish to go ahead with the test or not, please contact your breast care nurse or breast surgeon as they will be able to provide you with further support.